let's talk about, let's talk about an important topic um, regarding movement of inertia and which is called parallel axis theorem and uh, this is a very handy tool which can be used in solving in calculating movement of inertia so let's begin we already know that movement of inertia of some object uh, we, we know moment of inertia of some of the objects like for this particular ruler or a scale or a meter or a stick which has length L and mass M is given as ML square over 12 for a ring we know I is given as MR square where R is the radius and M is the mass of the, uh, of the ring what is common in both these examples is that all these i's are actually i c o m what does that mean Bec it means that the uh, that movement of that th this axis about which we are calculating the movement of inertia like for example this axis here and for the ring axis passes through the center into the plane or out of the plane uh, the point through which they are passing are actually the center of mass of the object like this ruler has a center of mass right in the middle and through which the axis is passing similarly the axis is passing through the center which is the center of mass of the ring so this is what is special about these eyes here and you can have other, ex other examples also like a disc you have cm uh, com here and in this case icom is mr square over 2 where this is the radius r and m is the mass of the disk so according to parallel axis theorem if or let's generalize it if you have an object and you know the i you know the com and i com let's say this is com and you know the center of mass moment of inertia about center of mass I mean about the axis which is passing through center of mass so for this case the axis is passing into the screen or out of the screen and is passing through center of mass let's say you already know this you already know then I about any other axis which is at a distance uh, R from the original axis is given as ICOM plus MR square. This is the I of the new axis, about the new axis, right? Like for example here. For the meter stick of length L and mass M, we know ICOM is given as ML square over 12. But let's try to find the movement of inertia about an axis that passes through the edge of the ruler stick or the of the ruler or the, or the stick. Then I will be equal to ML square over 12 plus M mass of the stick times the distance between the new axis and the old axis which is this much. This is L over 2. So L over 2 squared. That gives us ml square over 12 plus ml square over 4 and that gives us ml square over 3 and we already have derived this formula you see we already have derived so once we know M, uh, uh, I C O M, we do not have to re-derive i about this axis all we have to do is just use this formula and get the i about this axis now you may be wondering how did we get this formula well like this you know i is nothing but r square dm well let me draw something not a circle and uh, we are talking about or let's make it we don't want this just make this this is com and this is r a magnitude of the vector r and this here is small element dm right okay 
and let's say you define your access system so that it passes through center of mass this is x and this is y then you can rewrite this as x square plus y square dm which is same as x square dm plus y square dm right because that is the magnitude of the r square simply the the polar system okay and if you move your axis from here or let's say let's write um, i in the new system let's call it i let's call this icom then i in the new system is going to be and let's say this i is at a distance um, location is x prime comma y prime and if you do that you will see that this turns out to be this whole uh, this, the i for the new axis can be written as this plus that vector this vector plus that vector and this turns out to be x minus x prime square dm plus y if it's not clear you can refer to the book I and mean, it's a very general topic but this is not really important to discuss this derivation but I'm just doing it this is what you get and using some arguments and uh, and um, simple calculus you will actually see this re this will reduce to x prime square plus y prime square dm sorry this will reduce to x square plus y square dm plus x square plus y square m this is how it will reduce and you see this first part here is nothing but icum so i will turn out to be icum plus the second part is nothing but r square m this is how we obtain it simply by changing uh, by rewriting i and including the coordinates of center of mass all right